Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be working on more of the Blockly games. So this is the bird program. It is these activities. You really don't have anything new uh, compared to the the maze activity, except that uh, it, it gets more complicated. Mostly, it gets more complicated. So let's go back to the flow chart. So you're going to have to run. Design your program, take a snip of your solution, and paste the Java code into the assignment. Okay, so let's go over to the flowchart. So this is the flowchart. It is presumed this stuff in the flowchart, the the looping, the bird is is the bird at the nest, and the answer is no, they're not. So head 45 degrees. If the answer is yes, then you've reached the end. And I forgot to put the N and the Y there for the no and the yes for the decision. Okay, let's run it. Okay, of course, you'd copy the Java code and paste that as well. But also capture, capture this part of the screen. Your, your finished solution. Okay. Now it'll go on to level two. Again, uh, the loop is presumed. In the previous lessons, we learned about the repeat. So we're going to repeat this, but it's not written down. Mostly you've got if. In most languages, we don't have the do. We just, if this is true, then do this command, else do this command. So if else, and if else if, and things like that. Those are the kinds of things we're going to be doing uh, in throughout the bird activity. And then at the very end, things start getting complicated. So the repeat is assumed. It's assumed there's an outer loop, which is a repeat loop. Okay, let's go see the flow chart on this particular activity. Okay, here's the flow chart for that. Again, this loop here is presumed. This if statement is on your in your program. Right there, the if statement's there, the loop is not, the outer loop is not. Okay, if, um, if it doesn't have the worm, then it goes heading zero. If it grabs the worm, excuse me, yes, if it grabs the worm, it has the worm now, then you head 90 degrees. Let's see how that works out. does not have the worm. It's going to head zero. You can see the highlighted portion of the program. Okay. Now on to level three. It's something similar. Level six is when we get into something new. And that's the else if right here. So let's go look at how you would write that in a flow chart. And something flaked out here. No, it didn't. Okay, here we go. I don't know why the screen blanked out for just a second. So this is our outer loop, which is presumed it is not shown in the JavaScript program that you're doing. This is the inner loop, which is shown. And I wanted to go through the logic. So every time the bird flies a little bit, then we do this check. Does the bird have the worm? If it does not, then it heads 330 degrees. And we'll go through the program and show how that works in just a second. Um, and then you're done with the if statement. So if it does not have the worm, if that's true, head 330, 
and then finish. Else if, here's the else if. This is the new logic. Else if y is less than 80. If that's true, the bird does not have the worm, and y is less than 80, then head 90 degrees. Um, if that's if they're both false, doesn't have the worm, and y is greater than 80, then you had 180 degrees. In both cases, you end the if statement. In both cases, end the if statement. So that's your logical flow going down. It either goes here, or it goes here, or it goes straight down. And then this is the end of this loop. Let's go back to the program. Run the program. So it's heading 330 degrees to get the worm. It now has the worm. It drops into this part of the loop. It's heading straight up. Y is uh, less than 80. Um, y is less than 80. When y hits 80, then it goes um, due in this direction. OK. Just one last thing I wanted to mention before uh, I end this portion. Note this. This is your else. So if, if true, do this. Else if, not true, we do another test. There's your test right there. If that test is true, then you had 90 degrees, which is up. Else, now this, is, this finishes it up. If they're both false, if everything you've gone through so far is all false, then you're heading this direction. Okay. You can have multiple else statements, else if statements, excuse me. You can have more of these things. You can just keep adding else ifs. Here's a level eight that shows multiple else ifs. Level seven I skipped. You guys can figure that one out on your own. This one has multiple else ifs. So the bird has to go there, here, here, here. So um, it heads, and it uses x equals 50, y equals 50. If they're both less than 50, head 45 degrees, which is this direction. Um, if they're not less than 50, if they're both not less than 50, and by the way, you have an and statement. There's your and right there. You can program an and which is what I did. Both less than 50, head 45. If only one of them is greater, head this way, 315, which is toward the worm. Um, once you have the worm, if it does not have the worm and um, X is greater than 50, then head 315. Doesn't have the worm. Now, it's got the worm. So, this is false. This is false. Now we go into here. Say, is Y less than 50? Yes. Then let's head back. And now we have the worm. Um, X is greater than 50. He has the worm, so this is false. Y now becomes uh, greater than 50. So now this is false. And when, you, when the bird gets to here, then heads back to the nest. Okay, let's run the program, see how that works. Okay.
Your quiz this week is to do levels 9 or level 10. So homework, levels 1. Takes a while for the uh, thing to wake up. Levels 1 through 8. There we go. You quiz level 9 or 10. And that's for the bird. We're going to, next video is going to talk about um, the, oh, what comes after the bird? I forgot. Let's go check. The turtle. And see you next time.